What up, folks? Caught your boy at lunch right now. So I just wanted to make a quick little blurb for my people out there that are, you know, on the grind, hustling, trying to make things happen, uh, trying to take things to the next level. So, you know, f for me, I've been in sales for you know, the last, like, 18, 20 years of my life, whether I was selling cell phones, whether I was selling, I worked at Sears selling different shit, TVs, whatever the case was. Thank you. You're welcome. And if there's anything else you need, my name is Nate. All right, appreciate you. Um, you know, so selling, selling lots of different things. And for me, it didn't really come naturally, you know, because I tried too hard. I was trying to like convince people of shit as opposed to just giving them the information that would support you know, what I was trying to do and really what they were trying to do. Um, so that, that's my main advice when in a sales position, let your hard work and your grind and your effort make up for the that myth of being a good salesperson. You know, a good salesperson to me is the person that's consistent, honest, puts in the effort and energy, um, learns their product, gives their client direction, um, and is just, Authentic, you know what I mean? I think that that's what makes someone that I would like to work with personally And then I think that's the reason why a lot of my clients like working with me I'm not a polished perfect salesperson even though I'm sure that they would at this point consider me that or see me in that light But I'm not um, I've just switched my style to be just extremely direct authentic informative helpful um, and no BS, you know what I mean? Like if you don't, if, you, if you're a person that needs to be persuaded into something, you're probably talking to the right, wrong guy. Like I'm not gonna persuade you. Um, you'll probably persuade yourself by the fact that I'm giving you information that supports what I'm trying to present to you. And it details, you know, like if I'm talking about a mortgage, I'm gonna give you backend information that supports what I'm telling you. It's not just gonna be me saying, hey, you should do this. It's gonna be like, hey, this is the reason why I think this makes sense for your scenario and the goals you're trying to achieve. So that's my sales approach, you know, and uh, for some people they take a more like, uh, you know, salesy, you know, well, if I could do this for you today, wouldn't this help you do all that stuff? Cool, hey, if that works for you, that works. But for me, that never worked. It always made it way harder for me to feel natural and, um, and I always felt like I was trying to close someone as opposed to just working with the person, uh, presenting them with the, the full details and information about the product that they're trying to uh, obtain. In this situation, it would be a mortgage or a real estate transaction. I'm never trying to sell someone a, a loan. I'm never trying to sell someone um, a property. I'm presenting the property to people and you're gonna have that one individual that wants that property or, um, I'm presenting the fact that market rates are very low right now to people and, you know, answering questions related to that. So, in a gist, just back off the idea of trying to be a super salesman, be a super hard worker, uh, be super helpful, be super informative. Um, and, and obviously when you're working with someone, funnel them towards a certain end goal. You know what I mean? Like the end goal would be to close a transaction and get the process started. So of course you gotta like funnel them in that direction and, and lead towards that. But trying to convince someone to do something and all that persuasion shit, to me that's old school techniques that just are frustrating and uh, don't work well. And it's hard to control, you know what I mean? Like you don't have control over how someone's gonna necessarily view you when you're trying to hit them with that swagger sales approach. But if you work hard, you control how much effort you're putting out there, how many clients you're contacting. Um, you're more in control of that side of it because you're in control of your effort, your energy, your presentation, your process, stuff like that. <laughs> and I like to be, um, I like to have more control over that stuff. I don't want to be sitting back just hoping that this person goes with me. No, I want to like add so many people to my mix that I'm going to hit my minimum numbers anyway even if a, a bunch of people don't vibe with my personality, my style, or if I don't say the magical words to get them to, to close on the transaction, I've done the work with enough people to where um, the numbers are gonna outweigh the idea of someone just particularly liking me or falling for my sales pitch. I'm not really in that, in that line of, uh, I'm not in that sales type shit. I'm more into present the information, 
be genuine, show you how it works, be informative, be authentic. And I would hope that more people are gonna work with me in that scenario. So take the pressure off yourself, work hard, you'll get the sale done. Um, and go after the numbers. It's, you know, obviously be quality, but you know, focus on quantity when you're in a sales position. Um, because that person that didn't go with you might not be because you didn't have really like the right sales skills, right product or right approach. It could just be because they went with their cousin. You know what I mean? How are you gonna beat that? The only way you beat that is by having lots of uh, potential clients and higher volume and things like that. So, hey, you guys stay up. Hopefully I provide some value to you. 100 years of wealth. Um, Streamhomeloan.com. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day. Peace.